It is day two of remote learning for New York City students and some parents say they are just overwhelmed as they try to balance work from home while playing teacher as well. So I how know. do you juggle it all right? Alfonso Reyes who is home with his son Christopher. He joins us now to talk about it. So good morning to you Alfonso. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Diana Betty. Hey, so let's get right to it this morning. You're home with your son. You went through day one, right? So how was, how did yeah. he handle, what grade is he in, and how did he handle having to be in this non-traditional school setting that so many kids are now going through? So my son is in the second grade. Um, he's special needs. Um, but we, we dealt with it pretty well. We have a set schedule that um, we do the same routine that we've done when he was in school physical school of waking up, um, getting dressed, and eating breakfast, and then going right into lessons. Well, that's really good, and I think it's important and key that you say you have a set schedule because that kind of keeps things on track, and that can be difficult for parents who are having to juggle balancing work and doing parental and teacher duty at home. So what are some of the tools that you're using and parenting, parenting skills that you're using to really keep him on schedule and avoid distraction? So what I've done is, um, like I said, I created the schedule, and I've actually downloaded, um, a, like on my phone, a class bell that goes off as the alarm, but it rings as like an actual class bell. So it kind of lets him know that we transition into the next ah, lesson. So the bell will smart. ring, and we'll transition into math. And then also within the schedule, I put in like three breaks. So he has a movement break where he can go in his room and jump on his trampoline. He'll have a creative break where he can do like arts and crafts for 15 minutes. Right. And then he'll have another break for like snack time. So that's just, it's just yeah. seems like it really worked. That bell is actually mm -hmm. a really, really good idea. So, you know, a lot of the things that we were talking about leading up to this was how will a parent and a student actually stay in contact with the teacher for that lesson plan? So on day one, did you have contact with your teacher or was it just an email that kind of came your way? So his teachers actually were very good. Um, they um, text us through um, Class Dojo also through Google Classroom, um, and they had like a, a stream where we could text and type, and they would, they, would, they would type back right away. So they just, they all, they were, they've been very good throughout this process. Um, very good, shout out to PS19. Good. Absolutely, Class Dojo has really helped a lot of parents. Um, how about the internet situation? Is that working well? Are you having problems logging on? Some parents don't even have the laptops or iPads to get into the system. How are you connecting? Um, we're doing it through the Wi-Fi through the home. Um, luckily, we're blessed to have a, a MacBook Air and an iPad, so it's just it's been fine. It's been okay for us, but I know some other parents that yeah. it's been a struggle for. So how are you actually, you know, this is a big part, going to school, and especially with what you said your son has special needs, a big part of the learning is social interaction, right? Everybody, it's human interaction that you need to have. So how are you, are you getting him involved with his friends and keeping him engaged in that sense? So we're doing a lot of um, virtual play dates with his friends. So after his school day, like yesterday, he talked to one of his best friends for like a good 30 minutes. Um, we just keep, it's a group of us parents, we just keep connected and keep our kids connected the best way we can virtually. Yeah. All right, that's terrific. Uh, we appreciate you sharing some of your skills. I got to download that bell, that class yeah, what bell. What was the app again with the bell? Yeah. What was it called? It's on, well, I have an iPhone, so I just looked up a class bell and listened and oh, came good. up, so okay. there you go. Alfonso, that was really good. I think people, people need to hear how other parents are handling right. this and kind of go through it together. So we appreciate your insight this morning. Thanks for calling in. Thank you.